Hey guys, Shaybear1000 here. Are you guys using an old camera that's still in uh, 4.3 and you want to change it to 16.9? If you're tired of your screen looking like this, I'm going to show you how to make it look like this today on Shaybear1000. okay guys this is how we're going to make that happen what that's doing is changing your aspect ratio okay so your aspect ratio in these old cameras are 4.3 and you want to change it to 16.9 which is this right here okay now I'm using this power director 15 now don't be alarmed you can get a free version of it but it does have a watermark if that does not bother you fine but I don't like that I don't you know I mean especially because this is not a promotional video they're not paying me I'm not being promoted to do this or they're not you know uh, this is I'm doing this on my own free will as you can see it's from Cyberlink it's power director 15 I also have 14 and I have 17 but the 17 is not the free it's the free version okay but this power director 15 I have uh, I did a free upgrade they call it 16 but actually all it is is power director 15 with uh, more stuff you can use that I'll never use okay I'm gonna get rid of this this is just free stuff that you can put in your video or practice on or whatever so what I'm what I'm gonna do guys is okay I've got my camera hooked up alright so I'm gonna go to capture alright and it'll bring my camera up right here now what I'm using right now is a Sony uh, DV or mini DV mini DV um, so it's got the little discs now I can import this into my computer uh, in a couple different ways I can actually take that disc out and put it in my disk drive and import it that way or I can use a capture card which I'm using right now now the capture card that's a different that's a different video if you want to see how I do that I will do a video I'll probably just do it anyway but let me know in the links below in the link below if you know if you want to know how to do that this I gave $40 for this one it was originally 60 and I bought it at uh, we got this at uh, Best Buy okay but like I said there is a free version and if you want to try it you you know you can try it out and if you like it then okay then you can purchase it which I, I'm not sure what they what they cost online but I'll uh, I'll put the price on the screen and put a link in the description below uh, but the capture card I'm using is a seven dollar capture card okay so I mean they're cheap they're cheap uh, just it's USB just make sure anytime you use USB capture cards make sure you put them uh, plug them into the 3.0 USB port it works much better okay I also have another one by uh, it's Dazzle by Pinnacle Studio. Now they're like forty bucks, and, but I like this cheap one better. It seems to work better, uh, no lag time. Uh, but the Dazzle, it is also a uh, an editor. Um, but I didn't get forty dollars for it. They wanted fifteen dollars for it. It was brand new at a flea market, and I got it for ten. But what we're going to do right now is let's just go ahead and we're going. I got my camera turned on, brought up. There's my clips. I, I'm going to use this clip right here, and I'm just going to hit record. Now I'm going to get down here in my camera, and I'm going to play that clip. And what it's going to do, it's recording this clip right now. This is just a few second clip I recorded in the backyard just to show you how to uh, change your aspect ratio so we're not going to be doing any editing per se so let's go ahead and stop this here okay so it stopped now I'm going to stop it on my camera and as you can see it brought it up here now you can change this and name it whatever you want like uh, test clip or you know demonstration clip whatever but I'm just going to leave it like that and I'm going to click OK now it should bring there it is it brought it up here now I'm going to go to edit okay and what that's going to do it's going to bring it here and then it's going to 
put it over here in my preview window and down here on my timeline okay or storyboard whichever you prefer now as you can see it's got the black bars on the side because and also make sure this is in 16.9 because this uh, clip is in 4.3 okay aspect ratio as you can see the black bars on the side now I want it to go full screen okay now there's a couple different ways you can do that okay I'm just going to click on that and make turn it blue okay now see you can crop this you can move this around and crop it you know however you want I don't want to do that because I found an easier way all I'm going to do is go down here to my storyboard my timeline right click it now on this pop-up menu here you'll have to see clip attributes it's like the third one from the bottom or third one up from the bottom go over here to set aspect ratio okay click on that and it'll bring this window up here and now the second one down it says this aspect the aspect ratio of this video is 4.3 so click on that all right now it should come up stretch clip to 16.9 aspect ratio if it doesn't just click your little arrow and make sure it does and then from then on unless you change it it'll stay like that every time you bring it up and then watch over here on your uh, in your preview window watch as soon as I hit OK I click OK and there it is now we are in full screen there you go just like that it's easy that's how easy it is so I'm going to undo that right up there and I'm going to show you again now I'm just going to come down here to my storyline storyboard timeline whatever right click it set clip attributes set aspect ratio and then go to the second one down to where it says the aspect ratio of the video is 4.3 click on it make sure it says stretch clip to 16.9 aspect ratio and click OK and there it is that's all there is to that guys it's that simple so guys that's how you change your aspect ratio through an editing software I don't know what other softwares you can do that with but this is the one it is right here that's what the box looks like see power power director 15 ultra like I said it this did cost me 40 bucks I'm not sure what they're running online but if you want the free version it works fine it just has a watermark that's all you know what I mean and every time I look in this camera because you know it's wide angle it looks like that TV's crooked and I keep turning around but it's not just this camera but uh, anyway so and um, this is the camera right here that I just showed you that I was using now you can also it's a it's the same way with any any your old old your your old footages your old clips um kind of made it worse but anyway the uh it works you know vhs tapes same way now in order to import it if you want to see me see how i do that with a capture card i'll be glad to show you just leave it in the comments below and uh and i'll show you how to do it. i'll probably do it anyway uh one day this week and we'll see but there's not much to it at all guys uh if, if you know your way around a computer just a little bit you can figure that out uh with the help of youtubers there's a lot of youtube videos on how to do it and probably some better than mine but i try to i try to go into detail pretty much on what what the task is because a lot of guys they'll they'll start off okay the, their their uh, title will say you know how how to crop or how to change aspect ratio and <laughs> excuse me and when, when you start watching your video first of all they're talking about a whole bunch of other stuff that you don't want to know how to do you know so I didn't want to add that in um, because I didn't want to bore people you know what I mean like I'm boring you right now but and then and then it's like they touch you know their 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 video is like 12 minutes long and they touch on everything for 
10 to 10 and a half minutes on that you didn't want to know about and then like a minute and a half on how to do that and then they or they they don't talk during it they just play play music and they show the mouse clicks and they're going really fast and you got to stop and pause and all that i try not to do that i try to explain to you and also you know be feel free to ask questions down below so and i'll show I'll, i will also show you how i've got my mics set up i'm using this one right now and you guys have seen this one you know it's got the you know that on it uh, i can show you how i've got that stuff all set up and you know just some stuff like that some technical for the for anybody that may be just starting out you don't need a lot of money you know what i give for this camera 10 bucks or something i i can't even remember what i gave for it. that's without the light but you know i had to buy batteries for it and these batteries are kind of junk this one's about done i get i get about 12 minutes on this battery here it came with two and a charger one of them never did really hold a charge right but it did come with a, a battery the battery that came with it is the original battery and it'll 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 stay charged it'll hold a charge i mean you can get three or four minutes out of it but um i mean you know so you can find these cheap cameras you know like like this is one i got at a at a flea market you know works fine um it just you don't need a whole lot of stuff use your phone you know use your phone uh just remember don't guys don't don't video I, I i hate when you see somebody walking around going they're holding their phone like this filming and then they upload on youtube and all you can see is just this little bit right here just right here nothing else hold it like this <laughs> what landscape not portrait <laughs> so anyway guys thanks for watching i appreciate it I'm going to get off here, take some medicine, and uh, edit this video for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it helped. I really do, uh, because I know I, you know, when I started, I got my first used uh, computer. I think I gave 20 bucks for it, and monitor and everything, and it was old. It was uh, Windows 98, I think. I didn't even know how to turn one on or shut it off, and I learned all this myself. I didn't go to any classes. Um probably 70 percent of the stuff the technical stuff i learned from youtube and um the rest of it you know i just i, I taught myself i just figured it out well probably 60 percent off youtube and 40 percent i just figured it out on my own so it's not that hard so anyway guys i'm gonna take some medicine i'm gonna get off here and leave you alone Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Don't forget to check out Monkey 1000's channel. She's awesome. And uh, if you do feel compelled to subscribe to my channel, uh, be sure to click the little bell icon so you can get notif notified of when I upload videos. Thanks very much, guys. Take care and be cool. Bye-bye.